All right, guys, so uh, make sure you have your kilowatt energy lab sheet in front of you or on the computer or something like that so that way you're filling it all in as we're going along, all right? This is probably going to move quick because I don't know how to smash videos together very well, so just be ready to push pause a bunch. Okay, here we go. Right, here we go. Hair straightener is plugged in. You can see it's zero watts right now. Now I got a whole bunch of numbers on here, and I assume just 30 is high. And then I click the power button, and apparently that thing's going to blink for a little bit. So I'm just going to like let it do its thing right there for a second. And we'll just watch that. It's dropping a lot. I expected it to hold some sort of power. We'll wait till it steadies out. So now the light's solid on the hair dryer, or excuse me, the hair straightener. So I think that means it's got the right temperature. So let's let's do. I don't know what are we averaging. 68, 63. Let's just go like let's do like 65. That way that's kind of the average of what I'm seeing right now. So 65 for the hair straightener. All right, now we're gonna do the lamp. You can see it's plugged in. This is the lamp with the LED light. All right, so you can see that it's sitting at zero right now. I'm gonna reach up and turn it on now. We gotta go to, what would it be, 16 point, let's do 16 point, uh, let's do 16.8, 16.8. Well, let's do 17, just to make it nice and easy. 17 watts. Now we're gonna do the lamp with the incandescent light bulb or the older ones. So you can see plugged in, it's sitting at zero. Turn the light on. You can see it's way higher. So let's sit at, uh, let's go 98.1. Uh, 98, let's just do 98. Next up we got the air purifier and it's plugged in. You can see it's pulling 0 0.4 right now. So you can see basically it's got like a little light on saying it's not working. That's why it's pulling the 0 0.4. So I will turn it on. And I'm actually going to put it on high. Doesn't it just sound wonderful? <laughs> and sitting in, what would that be, 32, 32.1 watts. All right, here we go. We're going with the TV unplugged, or excuse me, just the TV plugged in but not turned on. This is the 55 inch one. We can see basically we're at like 18 watts. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'll turn that bad boy on. So you can see it's turned on now. Now it's pulling. Where are we at? So, I don't know, 69.7. Let's stick with that. 69.7. All right, so next up we got our 38 inch TV. It's in my playroom. You can see my son's toys right there. He doesn't clean up after himself very well. <laughs> so plugged in with it turned off, you can see it's sitting at zero. I'll go ahead and turn this thing on. You can see it's starting to turn on right now. Starting to go through its boot up. So now we're, what are we at, like 30, let's do 34, well, 30, 34.8, that would seem pretty consistent. Let's stick with that, 34.8. Next we're going with the MacBook charger. So that's plugged in. You can see here it comes down. Here's my wife's computer. That's me with my son when he was just born. Plugging it in there. See it starts to charge. So the pull starts going. Okay, I start to even out here eventually, I assume, or at least I hope so. <laughs> Let's just stick with uh, like 49. Let's go with 49.5 watts or something like that. Next up, toaster oven. You can see it's plugged in, we're at zero. We'll come over to the toaster oven. Uh -huh. 
one ton of watts there. So let's go. Let's go eleven oh. Let's go eleven oh three for this. Eleven oh three for the toaster oven, aka pizza maker for me. <laughs> All right, next up is the phone charger. So I got an iPhone. So that starts the debate of which one's better. So I'm pulling zero watts right now with it not plugged in. Plugging my phone in right now. Now I'm pulling, what am I looking at? 10, do 10.7 for the watts. All right, next we're going with the vacuum. You can see it's plugged in, getting pulling zero watts. You can see there's Roomba or Goovy. That's the hit thing with my son these days. He likes to chase that around. There's our vacuum, I'll flip it on. iron so you can see it's pulling 0.7 watts and like it's kind of on you can see it's got the light on but i've got it at the, like the lowest position there so i will turn it up to the highest position and now it's pulling a ton let's go yeah just 1094 yeah, let's do 1097 oh now we got the hair or the, excuse me not the hair straightener the uh whatever this thing's called the steamer which you use on clothes sometimes, but I'm a guy, so I don't use them on clothes because I have no idea how to use it. So here we go. Turn that bad boy on. I assume it starts supposed to start steaming or something. Here we go. 1,012 watts it's pulling right now. 1,012. All right, we're going for the hair dryer now. You can see it plugged in. Right now we're sitting at zero. Then there's the hair dryer there. There's going to be one. I'm going to do it on cool first and then on hot. Okay, so for cool on high, I do, let's do 611, then I switch it to hot, let's do 1338. All right, here we are, we got our space heater. You can see it is not turned on, even by, basically though it's reading temperature, it's not turned on. The watts it's using, uh, I would go 1.5. Well, yeah, let's just go with 1.5. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this on high. You can see it's starting to pull more. I'd go with 13, let's do 1360. 1362, let's do that for high for the space heater. Now I'll flip it to low. Now we're at 706. There we go, make sure to fill in your data table.